everybody welcome back we are doing some acrylic painting and you can see the canvas set up in front of you but we're not doing a canvas by itself get this on there as well and this is the main objective this vase it's very cylindrical, almost. Uh, it's got a slight curve there in the middle. And my friend requested this. I'm trying to see what just dripped on my foot. There's something on the inside. I'll have to clean that after everything dries and is done. I thought paint dripped on my foot, but I think it was just water. <laughs> Okay, so she wanted a vase. If you can see those two marks right there, they're on the inside, not on the outside. So um, I'll clean it after we do this. She wanted blues and greens for her vase. And by the time you see this video, you will see this. So I'll go ahead and show it now. I just varnished this one, just three weeks since I painted this one. And you can see it there. The clear glass didn't stay clear. It's kind of clouded from the varnish. And I haven't decided whether I like that or not. I mean, it's still nice because you can still see water level, but it's not exactly what I wanted. So, um, and I don't think it's going to get any clearer. It's t dry to the touch, so I don't know. We'll see. I will wait a little while before I picture it for its video, so we'll see by the time that lists how it turned out. So I think rather than leaving spaces on this one, we are going to coat it all the way so that we have it completely covered and then kind of go from there. And I forgot to make up some more white, so I'm gonna do that real quick. And just to show you, if you can see that, that's the problem with using bottles, is it gets in the screw part. Okay, sorry I disappeared there for a while. I forgot to do prep work before I hit record, so um, I cut all that out, so you guys actually will have missed all of that dead time. At any rate, Let's get back to what we were doing. The canvas has been sprayed, so it's tightened up a little bit. Um, most of the weight is on the center of this. My friend wanted blues and greens, and I thought about doing like a gold metallic, but I'm actually gonna do a green metallic, and I'll show you how I have things set up. So I've got sap green, aqua green, metallic green, cerulean blue and brilliant blue and i think having the metallic separated with those uh the lighters will work best but we'll see how this turns out i may scrap the whole thing and do it again um, but right now this is what i'm looking at oh there's some more bubbles i did torch it let me torch it again There we go. So let's see how this turns out. I don't know if this is going to be enough paint either. So we will see it's a very tall glass. Um, it's taller than this on the tumbler dryer. That's what this is, is a tumbler dryer. And this is my first time using my five split cup. My one I use the most is the three split. I have used the four split. You can see dye in there. It's cleaned real good. You, it, there's just going to be dye no matter what. And I think I've used my two split. Yeah, I've used my two split. You can barely tell that I have. I think I did my black and white uh, 
vase with that, I believe. Oh, there's another bubble. Some more bubbles. They're just slowly coming to the top. As I burn my finger. <laughs> I didn't burn my finger, but I thought about it as I was doing that. I was like, this isn't smart. So let's, this is a vase and canvas combo. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to try to pour slow. The split cups are a little finicky, so we'll see how this goes. I purposely put less of the metallic green. One, I didn't make enough, but also it's okay because I need to, I'm going to have wasted paint anyhow going to the canvas but also um, just spreading the paint around on the canvas. It's starting to do a gloppy thing because it can't decide. There we go. Not turning out how I thought but I like it so far. We'll have to see once the paint pulls down whether I still like it or not. I don't know if I said all of these colors are artist loft. And it looks like I don't have enough paint for the canvas part. Jiggle it off the top. Looks like just two spots didn't get covered all the way, but that's all right. I think my friend is going to like this. Let me get my fingers cleaned off. I'm going to go ahead and torch it. It's still pulling. No, actually, before I torch it. Let's. Trying to get some of the excess off the bottom. Still pulling. I'm going to run upstairs, check some messages. I'm going to cut this part out because I'm going to let it drip for about another minute and then we'll come back, move this to the drying rack, and then we'll play with the canvas. Okay, looks like it's done dripping. You really can't see the brilliant blue all that much. You can see some traces of it. 
I thought it would overtake everything, but it seems the green did. <laughs> and yellow and blue do make green, so that might be why. But the cerulean blue, you can see throughout. So I'll bring you guys in for a close-up for it, but let's do the canvas first. I gave Purdy a kiss on the forehead, and then I got fur on my lips, and then I didn't want to touch it with my hands because I didn't want it to get in the paint. So I was trying to blow it off my lips, which scared Jojo. <laughs> she, she was scampering down the, the hallway in a funny way. Taking, it was like she was galloping. The front legs, the back legs were in front of the front legs. I can't quite picture it out for you guys, but I thought it was funny. All right, I'm gonna move this over. I don't think I have enough paint, but we'll go ahead and try. Let's pop the bubbles first. There's a lot, and it makes sense because I made the metallic green from scratch um, just a little while ago. Now you see more green on this side. There's some of the brilliant blue, but let's see what happens when we spread it out. Try to keep it in view for you all. It does have a bit of cloudiness. Which I noticed happens with metallics. They kind of get into everything. down quite a bit. Okay, as we go this way. I might not have enough. Putting this on the dry part of the canvas helps this paint move, so that's why I'm doing that. And you can see it's moving a little bit better now. It's still really slow. there. Okay. I'm going to pull, try to pull some of this back the middle. And while I have it up, let's go ahead and get the corners. Okay. Whoops. Dipped my hand right into 
the blue paint. I'll be right back. There's a bubble right there that won't pop. There's my paper clip. Pop. <laughs> well, it still won't. Maybe it's actually something rather than a bubble. Well, there is nothing to show you for this painting, but I'm not going to scrape it. And the reason why is because I just got my stencils and one of the pack of stencils is phrases. So I think I will find one of the phrases that works pretty well and then stencil a sign on this and then she'll have a phrase for her home that matches her base. I might do it so that it matches her office if she ever goes back to the office full time. But um, for right now, we will keep it as it is. That's bugging me. I want to know what that is. I don't know what it was. It wasn't a bubble, but it's gone now. Whatever it was. Now, if things change when this dry, when this dries, can't talk anymore, then I will let you guys know. But for a picture picture, I'm not impressed with it. And I would scrape this if I weren't doing stencils. But it'll be a nice background for a nice phrase for her um, and actually I have bee ones also and sunflowers so uh, depending on what I'm in the mood for I'll ask her what she would like and then she can pick what's saying and we'll kind of go from there all right let's at least bring you in for a close-up on the vase as much of a close-up as I can get you so here is the vase and I think it turned out pretty cool. I hope it stays somewhat like this as it dries. There's the bottom. It gets dark, it's hard to see. There's that side. So the cerulean and the sap green really show through. The aqua green, you can kind of see. Metallic green is just everywhere. There's that side of it. But I like the drip effect that it has as well. So that's the vase. I will throw a dry picture in, but this is the canvas. Well, it's getting some weird colors in there from that purple that's showing in the video is not in real life in that magenta. It's just distorting the, the uh, camera. But as you can see, there's nothing special about <laughs> this canvas. If I were not doing stencils, I would just pitch it. All right, here's a dry picture of the vase.
Thank you all for joining me on this one. I will see you on the next one. Bye.